So we're just making our last stop before we head on out into the wilderness with our new bush hats. I got Post Malone right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. packed up at the parking lot. I'm gonna start going up that way um, for a couple miles on this unserviced road and then go off trail for probably about a mile till we hit the lake. So I wanted to note that uh, we made these last minute buys on these hats and we were uh, <laughs> commented by at the gas station if we were going on safari or something well I guess kind of we are we, we looked so out of place the local looked at us and just laughed it was but, like we were trying to blend in but then we were actually standing out <laughs> like he was the one pumping gas when we were out here in the beautiful wilderness so last last on him Right. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you notice, they got all these beautiful rhododendrons going into bloom. So hopefully, we will get some good shots. So just uh, minutes into our walk, Ryan noticed under the trees he got some hedgehog mushrooms. Uh, well, you know, this, this is the way it goes sometimes. Uh, further examination as I got closer to it. it was a little, um, these are actually old puff balls that are flattened out, uh, like her, lycoperdon, most likely. Um, but kind of looked like little hedgehog caps. So, know your mushrooms, kids. Yep, definitely. Hopefully, we'll find something though. Pushing on. It's a great time of the year for making tea. Oh, this really nice tender sprigs. Definitely have some of that later. Okay, so we're coming up on this really beautiful creek. This actually is the creek that when I got stuck up here overnight without any gear, um, I actually came down this trail. And so this creek was actually where I got my first like bit of water on that next day. I had no water that first day. Um, yeah, everything was just looking so beautiful. So we just started hitting the part of the road that I have not gone down yet. So this here on has uncharted territories as far as the road. And we're gonna wrap around old Baldy to get to that lake. So, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the road now has gotten unmaintained, and so we are going to, have to probably hike the rest of the way through something very similar to this. So, this will be interesting. Up and over, down and under, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I came across a whole bunch of wild ginger, which is not like the culinary ginger that we think of but it does have a little peppery root so good to add the foods so we'll collect a little bit of that put that in my little homemade basket that i made at home yeah i got a, I just came across some salmon berries yeah hopefully we'll find some more of those around there especially by the lake is what i'm really hoping so there's gonna be some good berries right, need a couple of these be on our way. What would you say we're about definitely over two miles in? Oh yeah. It's nice and beautiful. It's hot, it's warm. Got a nice little cool breeze though that cuts it just, just enough to make it not unbearable. 
um, and humidity is not too bad. So, as you can see in the background, we've come up to um, the end. So, from what I remember on the map, is that we hit the end, and then we're gonna go up that. Pretty much straight. Um, and then we should hit the lake or hit the clearing area, which then we should be able to find the lake pretty pretty easy um, So we hiked around old baldy I forgot, the compass, so. forgot the compass, but I'm pretty sure this is in the movie this... Everything goes south everything. Yeah, that's what that's what he wants us to believe All right, all right, so we're gonna head up in, and um, I think it should be no more than a mile to get to the lake, but it's gonna be completely off trail. As you can see, it's definitely not um, flat. All right, here we go. So, just kind of started into the untrailed part. Not really much any different than you would, I would see when I'm going mushroom hunting in the terrain. So. Not too bad, but definitely we're hitting a nice little incline. Oh, well, probably been hiking, oh, maybe close to a mile off trail. That's an estimate, but, but we're definitely, it has been a solid uphill gain. whole way but I think see up there I think that might be the top of our our hill and then hopefully of ill valley out and towards the the lake how's the last mile been it's been an ass kicking you know sitting on the couch all year COVID-19 coming out here going straight up High elevation. Yeah, it gets the heart going. But it feels great. We're almost there. Yeah. We'll make it. Well, we've hit the uh, National Forest Wilderness. St. Sam and Huckleberry. Up, up this way is where Old Baldy is. That's where I've ended my trails hikes before. This is the, we wrapped around. Came up this side. And then we got the pleasure of a really intense downward. This is gonna be rough, Ryan. I'm not really sure if you can see how steep this is, but it's pretty much a drop off. So coming down real steep, but uh in the distance, I don't know if you can see it yet, not yet, but finally started seeing a glimmer of water shining through, so um, almost there. So we've been just coming across these amazing boulders. It's just been beautiful up here. Even this like cave. Now if this was a little bit lower elevation, not on a slope, that'd be a great little shelter to start. But unfortunately, we still got a few hundred feet to get down to the, down to the water. So not not a home yet, but it's very like cool. Valley, it's like you know, land before time. Yeah. Going down in here. Yes, it is very prehistoric feeling. All right, coming down. We've been finding a lot of cougar tracks and um, and the scat. Uh, so just it's always really good to be aware of that. So here's the edge of the lake. Gonna we'll be wrapping around. Looks like there's a little fish activity in there, so that's pretty awesome. So potential to maybe catch some fish or at least crayfish. All right, so we um, we made it 
the other side of the lake. We were thinking that it was gonna be flatter over here, not this way, but it ended up being that it's very, very sloped. So, um, and I didn't realize that it had gone down so much further from the lake. So we're gonna be a little bit closer to the lake instead of the clearing, which is, which is awesome. We wanna be close to the water uh, source. Plus I wouldn't wanna have to go down that hill uh, and up that hill multiple times a day. Um, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. All right, so this is the spot we found. Started gathering some materials, creating this A-frame. Yeah, we're kind of we're creating with larger supports, and then we're gonna kind of fill in with smaller ones and so on, layering it. And then I think we're gonna have the fire pit right there, have this area open. So taking in the heat, and then we're gonna probably have the door to the back, somewhere there, over there. Beautiful day. We have noticed that there's tons of newts in this lake. Uh, that's like probably what's only living in here for the most part. We haven't really seen any fish jump, so there's probably not fish. Finally, got the fire going. It's just that some of the material is still a little damp, but it was just dry enough to get it going. And then we got one of these walls. We got all the boughs on there. So we're gonna have to finish doing the backside. So, well, uh, we ran out of batteries, so we lost footage on day two and today, um, and our uh, backup batteries uh, didn't um, quite fully charge our <laughs> phones, and then I left my phone on running, the camera running, uh, but not recording, and so it killed it, which was awesome. Um, so one step is getting better batteries and maybe what, GoPros? Absolutely. Something. Think about that. Maybe so we have like a lanyard cam or something like that. And some kind of better charging system. Anyways, it was an amazing trip. Hike was awesome back. Um, I'm shaved, beat. shaved off some time. What was that? I'm beat. Yeah, I'm beat too. Um, so until next time.